In this video, we'll talk about the four reasons why you should put things into perspective. What's up guys, my name is Alec Desjardins. I'm French, I live in Quebec. And even though I'm French, I just love making videos in English because I can use complex words and most of my vocabulary, the things I learn, the books I read are all in English. So let's jump right into it. Number one, life is extremely complex not simple yet it's not complicated there's a thing called compression of concept which is taking something complex and compressing it into something that anybody could understand but whenever you take something complex and make it simple you're missing out on a lot of information because you're not seeing the big picture i'll give you a simple example justin goes outside and he's freezing cold because of the temperature that's simple easy to understand but when you complexify things you realize he had no coat on so justin wasn't necessarily freezing cold outside because of the temperature but maybe because of the fact that he didn't wear a coat i hope you can understand what i mean by that number two judging versus putting things into perspective this person is mm, because of mm. and i'm sure you've heard a lot of people using this format in order to judge other people i'm not here to show you examples of sentences that can be judged i created this video to really open your mind on another way of thinking and you can apply it to your life for better outcomes so it's your decision you take it or not the thing with judging instead of putting things into perspective like i said earlier is that you're missing out on some information it's kind of if the person who judges is ignorant and you don't want to be ignorant let's take for example these two guys they're not talking in a judgy way they're trying to understand the other person's point of view by asking questions by having a discussion which i will address at the end of the video don't worry about that number three the world around us evolves all the time you know the technology and um, social media the way people interact with each other. With that said, I just want to talk a little bit about the school system and how it's evolved from the past to the present and what I think the school system will be in the future. So if that's something interesting to you, stay tuned. Believe me or not, there was a point where humans didn't know how to write so that means no books no literature i guess the knowledge was transferred by one another through language in today's world we have literature we know how to write down our thoughts on paper and give them to someone else and then this person can learn what we've learned right we've now entered the digital era with videos technology getting super and super developed we see people selling courses online on how to train how to stay healthy how to learn different subjects let's say neuroscience let's say quantum physics or even how to paint but what's the future what's coming next i think we're all familiar with vr virtual reality but something that interests me more than virtual reality is artificial reality imagine that I press a button and then I, I'm in a classroom, a virtual classroom where I can interact with other people. Other people can see me. I can interact with them. Maybe not physically, but mentally. That already exists. Zoom calls. I'm talking about the next level of that, where it will be possible for us to see the other person in front of us in 3D instead of 2D. One of the reasons why I wanted to talk about school in this video is to address this specific sentence. What is true today might not be true tomorrow. So by taking something complex and simplifying it too much, we're being unrealistic because things evolve, things change all the time. And we just have to remind ourselves that 
every day. This guy is a piece of shit because he did that. Is he still a piece of shit? Maybe he changed. The fourth reason why you should put things into perspective in your life, you won't make other people around you feel like shit. As simple as that. Instead of judging them, the goal will be to understand them. The goal behind a conversation shouldn't be about who's right or wrong. That would be called an argument. And you don't want to argue. You want to communicate. You want to have a, good, a nice discussion. The goal of a conversation should rather be about understanding and observing different ways of thinking and try to make sense of that. Asking the right questions. We all have different ways of thinking. We all interpret same situations differently. And that's called perception, our perception of the world. Putting that into perspective will genuinely help you communicate better with the people around you. That's it. Like I said, take it or not. I'm just trying to help people here. With all of that said, I want to ask you a question and I really want you to be sincere with yourself. Be authentic. Don't be scared to tell yourself the truth. Have you ever been too quick on judgments? Have you ever been too responsive with your partner? Have you been too quick to judge with your parents? Of course. Remember that the goal of this video is that the next time this happens, the next time you don't put things into perspective and act responsively to a situation, you're going to be able to calm down, relax, put things into perspective. And what seems extremely easy to understand and easy to judge is now complexify is now something you want to understand better. Maybe by asking questions to your partner, maybe by asking yourself deeper questions so that you can really observe a situation and understand it instead of thinking you understand the situation and then judge the person or judge the circumstances. I'm glad I took the time to create a video like this. If it's something that helped you, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to boost the algorithm so that more people can see this. Thank you.